In this episode of Exploring Modern India series, I'm flying with a luxurious Visada airline for the first time. Oh wait, is it a multi-grade one? Are you also curious if it's worth paying extra for this luxurious experience? Oh. Previously, I've explored the most modern area in Bengaluru, the most luxurious train journey in South India, and did a complete deep dive in my modern daily life in India as a Dutch foreigner. But even after so many years of living here, I have never flown with supposedly India's best airline. So if you're also curious what it's like and if it's worth paying extra for, then come with me on this journey and make sure to keep on watching until the end for the full experience review. Well hello from Bengaluru airport. Hi my name is Ivana and I've been living in India now for five years. In those five years I have flown a lot of airlines domestic and international but never the airline that we're flying today. The luxury airline Vistara is a joint venture between Tata Sons and Singapore Airlines which started operations on 9th of January 2015 with its inaugural flight between Delhi and Mumbai being supposedly India's best airline with world-class sanitation standards and warm hospitality not to mention food on every flight my expectations are quite high will Vistara be able to meet them on this flight I'm actually going to assess the whole ambiance the service and the food because I've heard so many people raving about it of course at the end of this video I'm also going to give you a review about my first visit that experience so without further ado let's first assess the check-in process I have to say it was really nice. There was a line, but it was very fast. And the one thing that I found that distinguishes Vistara from the other airlines is that there was somebody to actually help me to get my luggage on the weighing belt. So that is already a win. Currently, I think my flight is boarding. So let's get on board of the airplane and see what the ambiance is like, because it usually looks very, very pretty and purple. And I'm wondering what that looks like when I get to see it for myself. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Captain Rubita. On behalf of my crew, I would like to welcome all of you. We think the flight again first officer. I think we've completed. All group personnel have kindly requested to leave as we shall be closing doors for departure in a short while. Thank you. The first impressions are that it is definitely a category above the budget airlines for sure. Not just because of the service, but definitely also the purple color and the aesthetics. The Vistara World Wireless In-Flight Entertainment. It is not working on my phone yet, but just the idea that it is there, that's luxury and I really, really love that. The charging point in front of me, unfortunately, I can't use it because I have a C plus charger, but this is something that makes me so, so excited. There is actually a separate tray to put your phone on, and I'm quite sure it's for that wireless in-flight entertainment, but it's genius. The person who thought about that is really thinking from a customer perspective. Even if you're not using the entertainment, I think just having a little tray where you can put your phone on charge in front of you is just... Go Vesara. May I have your attention please? Your safety is our foremost concern and we will now brief you on the safety features of the face mask. Pehna hua hai, to grip apna mask hata de aur fir oxygen mask ko apne naak ko mukh par rakhe aur samanya roop se saaf le. Mobile phones and other small handheld electronic devices, including e-readers, no larger than the size of a small paperback book, may be used at all times in flight mode. I was so happy to see the purple lights. I love that they're playing with the colors. I think light, especially during the night flights, can have such an impact on your mood. So first impressions, definitely a category above budget airlines or regular airlines because of the attention to details and also going one mile further in the aesthetics. Right now they are serving the food, which is something that I looked most forward to. Vistara is one of the few Indian airlines that still serves food on a regular flight. I mean, the flight is two and a half hours. So the fact that they're doing that is like awesome. And I'm so looking forward to trying out the food. <laughs> uh, veg for me, please. 
veg onion pulao with the rice sauce, non veg chicken curry with onion pulao. I love the fact that in India veg food is normal because one time I was on a 12 hour flight and I forgot to order a veg meal and they didn't have one left and I was like hungry while well, everyone was getting food all around me and that that's never a problem in India. <laughs> food looks so good. Thank you. This looks so nice. Vastada, in case you don't know, is actually owned by the Tata Group, who has incredibly high standards when it comes down to hospitality. They also own a famous hotel group in India, who also has very, very nice uh, <laughs> hospitality standards. All right, let's take a look what is on this food tray. First of all, dessert. This looks like banana cake, actually. I hope it is. Let's see in a bit. And we have ambo butter which is an Indian brand and this girl is actually super iconic and let me see does it say utterly butterly delicious because that's like a quote of Amo then we have a uh, white bun over here startup light a new feeling loving the packaging and again aesthetics now we have a veg meal over here okay guys okay uh, a bottle of water on this side what is this Creamer and sugar. Okay, we are not yet with the tea. I love the size of the tray. It's the small things that really matter, but make your life so much easier when you're eating and you have a little bit of space. So appreciate that. And then le moment sub farm guys. Let's see. Oh, I think it's veg pulao, what she mentioned. And as we are in India, this should be actually good food. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, sabji on the side. What is this? Oh, okay. Very curious. What is this? Mm, right off the bat, I can't really like understand what this is. I can't see like that it's the colors of the Indian flag. So green, white, and saffron. Let me grab a fork. A spoon. Ooh, I like this. Wooden cutlery. Look at this. Awesome. Very environmentally friendly, responsible. We love that. This is interesting. Let me see. Okay, some kind of sabji. Try it. It's definitely spicy. If you don't like spicy food, just know that. Let me see what the other thing is. I was hoping for some paneer. Is that too much to ask? What is this? Some kind of dal. Oh, I think it's bong dal or something. Okay. That is tasty. Oh my gosh, that bong is amazing. I need another bite of that. Yum. I really, really enjoy that. That's fine. That bong dao, sabzi is okay. But the bong dao, yeah. I, I like that. <laughs> now, I'm going in for that cake. I'm very curious if it's banana cake. Or is it? Oh, it's chocolate cake, actually. Okay. You just grab the spoon. Oh, there's like chocolate sauce at the bottom and stuff. Oh wow, look at that sauce. Okay. That is hands down the best chocolate cake that I've ever been served on a plate. It is soft, it is moist, and the chocolate sauce actually makes it even more moist. Because usually cakes are so dry and I, I skip the dessert on flights. Wow, that is amazing chocolate cake. Let me see what the bun is like. It, it does feel dry and a little bit hard. But I guess like you need that on a plate? I don't know why. Well, that is very well packaged. If you're worried about the hygiene safety, that is definitely taken care of. Okay. White bun over here. Oh, wait, is it a multi grain bun? This is a multi grain bun. Man, kudos for that. Not just because of the taste. I personally prefer multi grain buns, but like, that's actually healthier. If it's like actual multi grain, but I'll just go for that. Okay. Um, butter. Oh, taking a little bit of that butter. Yawned impressed with that bun and that chocolate cake. Wow, that is that is definitely exceptional for an airline trip. Okay, usually I skip the bun as well because it's like white and dry and flavorless, but this is like. Thank 
you. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, do you have like milk or? No lemon. Do you have like? Like. Creamer milk. Oh, you saved yours. Yeah. I. Uh, thank you. <laughs> awesome. Are you a YouTuber? Yeah. What's your channel? Uh, travel. I don't think you can find it now. Yeah. Uh -oh. Travel go. vlog ID. That's why I'm like so annoyingly everywhere in your space. <laughs> travel? travel vlog IV. I IV. We see. Yeah. Uh, no, just IV. IV. Yeah. Correct. Oh. Yeah. Like and subscribe. <laughs> As if my friends might want to know the in-depth review of food. Yeah, yeah. How did you like the food? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's not home cooked food, but yeah. <laughs> if you look at airlines, I think it's really good. Yeah. It's. Good. Have you been able to connect to the uh, the Vistara world? Do you want to like, But uh, have you connected? Absolutely. So my phone is not connecting. I don't know why. And I thought they were quite busy, like to ask. You want to say hi in the vlog? Yeah, sure. It's still on. Hi. What's your name? Uh, my name is Shaheem. Shaheem? Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Delhi, currently living in Bangalore. Oh, okay, okay. How long have you been in Bangalore? Yeah, it's been six months. Six months? Yeah. How do you like it? Yeah, it's fine. Not, not like home, but yeah. Oh, so now you're going home? Yeah, um, actually I'm going to travel to Manali. Manali? Ooh. With my family. There's going to be snow, no? Yeah. <laughs> I am like covered up for... <laughs> yeah, I heard Delhi was like 6 degrees, but it's okay. I think it's 15 degrees or yeah, something. Yeah, in Manari, it's I guess uh, 1 degree. 1 degree Celsius. I say no. <laughs> but you have fun with your family. <laughs> Last time I was traveling, it's connected. Yeah, it should, I think. Well, I thought they had actual chai, but no. It's just regular tea. Loving this design. Cup is pretty. Definitely, the food lives up to the expectations, so I'm happy with that check. <laughs> Welcome to Delhi guys. The last time that I was in Delhi was in February 2020. It is the last travel video that I had filmed before all of our lives changed because of the pandemic. Now three years later I'm back here and I don't know about you guys but that whole change of life has seriously made me anxious about travel, about crowds. I just definitely am not as carefree as I was back in February 2020. Hence returning to Delhi I just wanted to be comforted, pampered and taken care of and that's exactly what happened on the Vistara flight. The staff is so incredibly sweet. Priti, Neha, Nisha, Umra, I see you like they have been so wonderful, so caring. Two and a half hours just flew by because honestly, like even just the lights are so much entertainment. I haven't even tried out the in-flight entertainment. But yeah, for a first time flying Vistara, it was actually exactly what I needed. You just want to feel safe. You just want to feel comforted and you just want to be taken care of and that's what happened during the Vistara flight. I can definitely understand why they call this the best airline of India. I can totally vouch, vouch for it and I think for the price it is crazy value for money. I think it was only like what 500 rupees more than a budget airline and then you get like so many perks and so much pampering. So definitely check it out. Nothing sponsored here. I paid for my own ticket but I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed my flight let me know down in the comments below if you guys have already flown with Vistara and make sure to share this video with as many people as possible because I'm quite sure that I'm not the only one who feels that you know travel should be safe and comfortable during these times so make sure that other people can experience that comfort as well you can also put a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel joining 280,000 other subscribers it's free and you'll get a notification the next time i upload a new video for now thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time